digital stream. No detractor memes, bathroom breaks, playing WWE, relaxing chill session of Street Fighter 3. It's like a man my vibe back from 2017. Jill Murray spends his whole fucking day talking about Phil. In addiction and cocaine use are usually done in some sort of secret, especially if they're starting to cause problems. The kinds of things you might notice in a cocaine addict is the behaviors directly related to cocaine. Those types of behaviors include increased talking. Podcast, I'm like, damn, I talk too much. I'm a Gabby person. Blah, blah, blah. Increased irritation or irritableness. I would have just turned the game right off and said, fuck this, I'm not playing this anymore. But the fact that I'm now five hours into it, obviously I want to finish it. You know, but I toughed it out for you guys tonight and I got nothing out of it. But a bag of fucking frustration. And that pisses me off. Um, and anxiety. <clears throat> oh my god. No, y'all can't tell me this guy isn't on drugs no more. <laughs> This looks like the face of a person that hides gin and cocaine all over the house, bro. <laughs> he looks like he's about to try to tell you an excuse for why, why there's powder all over his face, you know? Important notifications. Community. Community guideline, guideline strike one. Yep, that's right. Your boy got got finally. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm telling you, I I honestly would have been a little more heated if it was for one of my videos or something like that. Because I would have knew it was Phil or one of Phil's goons. But, dude, someone, the system or someone did some hardcore digging and went to my stream from like February, bro. You know, I was playing Halo, it was nothing Phil related, I was a little juiced and loose and relaxed, and the N-word was just rolling off my tongue. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what did it, so they got me for hate speech. Like, can you imagine that, bro? A black guy can't say no more. That, that's my word, Susan. I swear to God, bro, Susan, I had a hard day at work, right? I get off work, and I'm like, I crack my fingers. And I'm about to get to work on Phil. <laughs> and then I see that I got a strike. I was like, dang, Mama Susan straight up kicked my door down and snatched the wig off my head. But you know your boy, I wasn't really stressed. I uh, cracked open some wine, smoked some dabs, and I started plotting and strategizing. I scrubbed all my old streets. I said, oh, screw this. Y'all really went way far back. <laughs> do this to me dude so i had to scrub all of those and i privated a few video like a few not videos but a few of the restreams we done i gotta watch my ass now <laughs> but you know it kind of sucks i feel like the kid that can't go outside to play with the other kids man i have to sit here and watch you guys have fun making fun and talking about phil all day i like to talk about phil all day so the idea finally hit me, bro. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna do what I usually do, but I'm gonna have to like switch it up and just try to have fun with more fun than usual, you know? So this video is probably gonna be super duper long, <laughs> but the subject's gonna be, th the business is burning, bro. Like literally over the last few days, things are just, it's, the finality of it all just feels surreal bro like feel sitting here actually really so conscious about what people think about him now but he's so unaware of himself that he will never fix it <laughs> you know he's trying not to beg and he's trying to gussy up his his channel bro he even put timestamps in the last level one podcast i ain't gonna lie i'll put here's a quarter for your tip jar phil thank you <laughs> it makes my job easier I don't have to, like, trog through an hour and a half of crap. I could just skip through things. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be doing a video every day of the week until I'm unbanned, which should be Saturday. So, yeah, we're going to start from 
<laughs> we're gonna start from Saturday, and then we're gonna cover Phil all the way up till I'm unbanned. Maybe we'll do a restream and get messed up to celebrate your boy being back in the fold. Let's see what happens. This should be a fun video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good fun stuff. Whew. This is going to be a lot of editing. Let's get to it, guys. <clears throat> and I can't believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Stupid frog in my throat. <clears throat> Just because. <clears throat> cool. And <clears throat> I was. <clears throat> this. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> is that. <clears throat> Bro, I swear to God, Phil sounds like an old man in hospice that has lung cancer that's about to head to the upper room, dude. The upper room with Jesus. You know what that is? The upper room, the motherfucker be singing my. I'm telling you guys, Phil sounds like his body is shutting down. <laughs> There's no more pollen in the air, Philip. It's either his lungs and body is shutting down and he's heading to the upper room, bro. Or like the guy has coke throat, you know? So that's Thanksgiving and that's all I'm doing on Thanksgiving. I'm doing Ask the King. The second half of the day, I'm having dinner with my family. All right? Dude, I'm sorry if I sound cruel, guys. But to me, a, a flabby old dude and a cat and a horse named Cat doesn't really feel like a cohesive family to me. <laughs> but we definitely need to start talking about this seriously now. We're over 100 members away. The member bomb <clears throat> that was given last month <clears throat> that propelled DSP Gaming into the 1,000 members, you know, arena. We had 1,036 members last month, if you can believe it. Um, it's going to expire soon. We have about a week. I think it's going to actually expire like like right before Thanksgiving or around Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, so if we don't have movement in this soon, we're actually not going to hit it. And then basically we're not going to have a holiday marathon for the first time ever, which would really suck. I want to do the holiday marathon. I love it. So right now would be a great time to consider <clears throat> becoming a member to the channel. Renewing a membership, maybe you previously had that lapsed, or gifting a membership to your fellow viewer. Tis the season, as they say. No, God, please, no, 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 no! You want to help out someone who's also a viewer of my content and, you, you know, everyone enjoys it together? Gift a membership. Drop a membership bomb on your fellow viewers. They're going to be very, I'm sure they're going to be very, very uh, appreciative of that, okay? So, there you go. If you can... Please consider it, and thank you in advance for your support, okay? Wait, this is begging! Bro, this is begging! I want to grab the guy by his tight t-shirt and shake him and just go, Phil, this is begging! <laughs> like, this is a call to action for his whales to do more membership bombs on him, dude. Because Phil's finally, he saw Duty's videos, and he saw my videos, and he saw some other dude's videos, and we all said the same thing when the last membership bomb dropped, guys. Dude, they're all going to expire because nobody wants to resub to this mediocre clown show. Clown shows are things you go once in a blue moon, you know? Like, hey, bro, I'll get a ticket. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll get a ticket, but I'm not gonna buy another ticket to see a clown do the same trick. You can do that for free, you know? That's why Phil doesn't like us detractors. We're like the dudes at the circus with the hidden camcorders, you know? Just streaming it, live streaming it. <laughs> oh, I need to stop. All right, we need to go. We need to keep going. See, we're at $35 in tips, but still two hours of gameplay to go. Um, you know, it'd be great if we could hit the hat goal today because that would be a Sonic hat, which I almost never wear. <clears throat> you guys demanded I bring it back for this playthrough. So I'm wearing my Sonic shirt. I'm ready with the Sonic hat. If we hit $100 in tips, it would be great if we could do that. And of course, the sooner the better, so you get the Sonic hat for longer, right? And there we go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Sorry, like that. That's it. 
he finally broke. That's where I, like, that's where we all kind of, we came together and we agreed that's where he broke. That's the first genuine full frontal beg. Like, we're back to normal, guys, all right? Begging's back on the menu like it never left. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. We can wear the Sonic hat, bro. Oh, my God. That's so pathetic. Phil couldn't even last like two weeks without begging for support of any kind. It's begging. All right. If you like or support, Phil said it. If you watch him, you like support, just putting money in his pocket. And he finally broke, guys. Coming to DSP Gaming anymore to watch me play the hot new releases. There's some exceptions. Elden Ring earlier this year was the most successful playthrough I had done in like four plus years. It really blew up on the DSP Gaming. People liked the way I tacked the game. They liked the fact that I wasn't pussyfooting around the game and avoiding bosses. I was really doing my best. Remember, I wanted to beat that horseman that night, right at the beginning of the game. I wanted to kill the dragon as soon as I could. I, you know, I wasn't, oh, I'll come back later. Now, fuck that. I'll do it now. And people liked that. Even though I died a million times, um, people really liked that attitude that I had and the fact that I was open, openly exploring everything in the game, <clears throat> you know. No way, bro. <laughs> I watched the whole thing too, dude. Nobody was there, Phil, because they, ugh disgusting admire your persistence nah the the total opposite phil it was fun watching you fail over and over dude and then it got annoying watching him just jump heavy attack every single thing lazy dude he can't be bothered he's trying to like brute force his way through the whole game he died against the first tree uh he bro he died against the tree uh, crucible dude. That for the dude on the horse when you first played the game, that is obviously too powerful for you to fight. You know, and he did that for like three hours on the first playthrough. Get out of here, Phil. Um, it was a unique thing, right? But outside of that, <clears throat> me playing new releases just does not bring eyeballs to the channel anymore. And I have to agree with this person who sent me this email. However, the question is. What do you do then? What Do I purely cater to the audience that I have here that loves my content? If that's the case, what do they want? Because it seems like that's not always an answer that I can get a definitive answer from you guys. When I ask you, what do you want? One person will say, oh, I want you to play Pokemon. The other person will be like, well, I want you to play more God of War. Then the other person's like, you know, I really miss Street Fighter. Well, even though from the outside you may look and say, geez, Phil's playing a new release and it got, doesn't even get 5,000 views anymore, right? Right. I mean, I'm not going to argue with you there. But at the same time, understand uh, the support on the streams is great. So I'm, I'm not complaining. Even though the viewership has dwindled, if anything, what this is showing, let's be honest here, is that the people who support this channel have always supported it and everything else was just periphery views. You know what I'm saying? Wow, bro. Phil is really high on copium right now. <laughs> He is in the clouds, dude, trying to cope with the fact that his little strat for trying to get a bunch of views and clicks by playing every new game that comes out, it ain't working no more, Phil. Oh, boy. Uh, man, I could, t I could just jump in a church right now. <laughs> oh, it made me so happy to hear him say that. <laughs> like, and dude, you guys notice he's shaking so much in that chair. It's very subtle. But you could tell how notice, uh, nervous he is, you know, during that podcast. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Phil. And, and then he's trying to get the viewers to tell him what they want. When, but Phil likes to brag about this all the time. Every two seconds. I've been here 14 years, Snort. 15 years. Next year be my 15th anniversary. You figure 15 years in the game, you would know how to play. That shows you how dumb and incompetent Phil is as an entertainer, bro. All right, so that's it. What what day was that? <laughs> oh, that was yesterday. That's it for Sunday, man. Today's Monday, so I'm gonna start working on that, and we're gonna roll into those clips. <laughs> 
Oh my god, Saturday needs to like speed on through, dude. The next oh, the next melding. Um now, because today is Sonic Frontiers, I'm again wearing one of my two Sonic the Hedgehog t-shirts. <laughs> and yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is official. If we hit $100 in tips support on this stream, I will wear the Sonic hat. All right, I'm only offering this during the Sonic Frontiers playthrough. It's the only time I'm wearing this damn hat because it's very uncomfortable and it falls off my head. But you guys demanded it, so I'm allowing it. However, I got something to say about that. Sonic Frontiers stream, <clears throat> we hit that goal early and I wore this pretty much the entire stream. It was very funny. The last Sonic Frontiers stream, all right, we hit the goal like last minute. So I put on the hat, but not for very long. It was very short lived. Um, and a lot of people were disappointed at that. I, I'm sorry, I can't really control it. The whole point, the whole incentive of this ridiculous hat is to try to get some support on my streams. Keep in mind, I don't run advertisements, right? I mean, what ads YouTube runs, they run by themselves. I don't even do that. I don't. Wait for it. Horseshit? No, your answer is completely wrong. The correct answer is... Bullshit! You're covered in horseshit! Bullshit artist! Phil is so full of shit, dude. Like, bro, the, the mask done fell all the way off. Now he's straight up guilt tripping you guys to pay to see the Sonic cat. You guys demanded it. You asked for it. Last stream, we barely were able to hit the goal, guys. Snort. Make sure you do it today. <laughs> like, he sounds like an infomercial, bro. Oh my god, he couldn't even last like a month without full-on begging like this and holding certain incentives hostage just to get a dollar. My god, the guy is just... Oh. <laughs> this is, this hits different. Watching Phil back to back to back without actually uploading a video every day. It's like one whole video. This is actually hurting my soul. <laughs> the guy couldn't last a month. It's like that uh, constantly during live streams like a lot of other streamers do. <clears throat> There's no paid product placements during my streams, right? None of the none of the stuff that other YouTubers are doing do I do. I've kept that off of my content, all right, in an effort to say I'm all about the content, not about the money, all right? I understand that that goes hand in hand. There has to be some incentive then to support the streams. If people want to see the silly hat, I'm going to make it a goal. You know, raise the $100 of tips today and see the silly hat, okay? So please understand that's why we do it that way, all right? Now... It would make sense if we're going to hit this goal, if you were thinking of supporting today's stream via tipping, to do it as soon as possible so we can actually have the Sonic hat for the extended length of the stream. It's kind of silly to hit it last five minutes and I toss it on and now it's done and no one got to see it. I'm just throwing that out there because that's exactly what happened last time and people were very disappointed, but I can't really control that. No, Phil. Phil has took streaming and contorted it into this ugly, disgusting thing to witness. Like, yeah, you guys get it. So if you want something from me, you need to give me money. When it's like, no, Phil, any other streamer, they genuinely enjoy being with their community and, you know, playing games. The money is just kind of, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it, oh, well. That's why you shouldn't put all your chips into one basket like an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Like, get a, you need a part-time job, get a part-time job, something. Don't just sit here and corner yourself into having to beg like this. It's so disgusting. Okay. And by the way, oh, excuse me. As you know, in the last two weeks, I've basically stopped it with the bullshit. I've cut out the whole e-begging bullshit. Everyone was calling me out on it. I was like, you know what? People are right. They're absolutely right. Enough is enough. I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to say, oh, it's a slow day and blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to shut up about it. I'm going to mention the goals, let you know what the rewards are, shout out people who do contribute, and that's it. I'm, I, I actually got tired of myself. I got tired of my fucking self doing it. I started watching back my own content. I was like, I can't take this anymore. I, I, can't, I look like an asshole. I am an asshole. But you know what it is? It's the pressure. It's the fucking pressure of this is my business. This is how it operates. I don't have those opportunities like other youtubers i don't have product placements again i don't have that advertisement aspect to it i have no supplementary income besides what i'm making on these streams so this is actually a big deal to me you know what i mean and while there i was i was being an asshole
So I'm not going to do that anymore, all right? Maybe every once in a while I'll mention that this is a goal today, but I'm not going to keep talking about hitting goals and shit like that, all right? <clears throat> Fair words like and you did the very thing that you were literally telling yourself not to do and then you went and did it like an absolute fool stop being a dummy bro the only pressure phil really feels is to make sure he's able to get enough money to get a four-star hogan bro that's the only pressure he has to make sure that his WWE Championship clan is up and up to scuff and doing good. That's it. All right. Supplement your income. Phil makes over a hundred thousand dollars a year. Who is he kidding? And then st stop the e begging, Philip. My God, the guy can't go. He can't literally go two sentences without contradicting himself. You, what you were just doing is e begging, Phil. All right. We all know the goals. You don't need to keep every day. He did this. He did this on Sunday. God, it's like a repeat of what you just saw in the first part of the video. God dang. Some inflated attention when you play a game like the Street Fighter 6 beta or something like that. But in general, DSP Gaming these days is a channel for a set group of people as opposed to a channel that's for the masses and they're coming in droves when I play new releases. That doesn't happen. I completely agree. Take a look at God of War Ragnarok right now. Here's a game. It's the hottest game right now in the world. Everyone's playing it. Everyone is talking about it. All right. My playthrough currently right now, part one of the playthrough has 5,500 views. Part two has around 3,000 views. And then it trails off down to 1,000. And then the latest parts from the other day don't even have like 500. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. These, these playthroughs don't bring in attention anymore i oh phil oh phil burnell is smoking that copium copium is a good drug to keep you from killing yourself <laughs> God, the guy is still coping with the fact that his channel's dead. <laughs> He's like, whoever's here is here. And it's just like a bunch of us degenerates. <laughs> and like, you know, a bunch of ditheads, man. A couple whales. It's amazing. Oh my God, dude. It's like Groundhog Day. He's literally repeating the same talking points. <laughs> or now, you make content curated content for a specific audience who already likes what you're doing and then they support that effort to continue keep it going you see what i'm saying if i were a common youtuber just trying to appeal to the masses i would make content and then there'd be ad placements there'd be all kinds of sponsorships there'd be this and that i'd be trying to diversify the content if you haven't noticed i don't do that it's because i'm very different from all those other guys and gals out there i'm not trying to make it big i'm not aspiring to be any bigger or more popular than i am I don't think I ever will be at this point. I'm just being real with you now. Nah, I already could call him out on that. Number one, Phil is too lazy to put a level of money and effort to make his stuff any better than it is. You know, he would have to like hire somebody to help him make his stuff better. And Phil is too greedy. And number two, he's right about that. He doesn't want to be famous because he could give a damn about the fans he has. But he knows more subs, more money, you know, more views, more money for, you know, ad sits. So I don't know what he's talking about. Like, it's all about the money for Phil at the end of the day. He doesn't even like playing video games anymore. Money, money, money. It's all built around making sure he gets the most money while doing the least, period. We'll see. Uh, but I'm excited for this event. I love doing it. But right now, we have seen zero progress on members. It's been like two weeks and we've seen no new members. And like, like I'm saying, I really feel like at this point, this is the thing with the channel is that we've kind of reached the level that we're going to hit when it comes to support on DSP Gaming. We're not seeing much growth right now, especially with these new releases. I think that we had, we had a lot of growth. Actually, a thousand new subscribers came in when I played Street Fighter VI's beta. And I think those people are excited for me to play Street Fighter 6 when it comes out. But these other new releases just haven't done anything. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, 
Yo, remember when Phil said that the hardcore gaming season will bring new eyes on the channel with all the hot new releases? <laughs> oh my god, Phil's really trying to cope, huh? Dang, man. I remember when he said that, though, because he would say it over and over and over all summer long, bro. Flashback. The very first official day. of the hardcore gaming season. Because I would argue that starting today, we've got our first high profile, what's considered AAA new release. Moving forward, these new releases hopefully will bring new eyes to the channel. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, continue on with all the new stuff for the next several weeks. And hopefully uh, reinvigorate DSP gaming, get people back into the whole feeling of it's a new season, new games, new content, right? I talk about people becoming a member, but also gifting memberships. This is the season to be generous to your fellow viewer, right? If you like the content I do here and you maybe want to gift some memberships out to people who also like the same content, that's a great way to help out both them and the channel itself. Time of year, all these women out here. Well, it's November 1st. That means it's Christmas time. Fuck it is, Jaina. November 1st, we better put the tree up. Damn Christmas lights wrapped around your neck, smelling like cinnamon. Wanna watch a Christmas movie? Look at Phil, using the holidays to manipulate people to buy people memberships. Classic manipulative Phil. <laughs> but seriously, I can't stand that stuff, man. Alright, it's the 14th, okay, Phil? It's not Christmas. Christmas isn't for over a month. I hate that when, as soon as it's November, people throwing up Christmas lights and stuff. It's ridiculous. All right. Some people are like saying the weirdest things like, man, Vampire Adventures or something. I can't believe that game got snubbed. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? And what it is is every year, there's a handful of like these like PC only games that only the PC crowd knows about literally no one talks about outside of the PC only crowd and they swear they should have been game of the year and every year they complain that they're not nominated like dude if no one heard what your game no one knows what your game is no one's going to say it's game of the year what's it called vampire survivors that's what it's actually called like what the fuck is vampire survivors what are you even talking about what the fuck is that vampire survivors a game no one knows about outside of your little circle of PC exclusive gamers but maybe that's a problem when it comes to PC gaming. You know what I'm saying? All these games that are on the list, Plague Tale, Elden Ring, God of War, Horizon, Stray, Xenoblade Chronicles, they're all big console games, right? Now, some are console exclusive. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is only on Switch, right? But at least, like, even not having played Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I know what it is. What the fuck is Vampire Survivors? I don't know. Now, here's the other thing. Again, Phil shows us how, like, uninformed of a gamer he is, dude. An actual hardcore gamer knows about what's coming out on console, and they kind of know what's happening on PC. Bro, Vampire Survivors is addicting as hell. I love it. Like, it's one of the, it's in my top ten. You know, because for me, an actual gamer, gameplay comes first, and it, it just smacks. I feel like I'm at the casino, dude. And there's nothing really to risk. I've been actually, <laughs> I was playing it all morning trying to edit this. See, Phil, Phil's a simple person, bro. He likes shiny graphics, and shiny graphics means good game. I'm sitting here like, bro, this game's addicting as hell. It feels like I'm at, I'm at the casino, and this game only costs a couple bucks. Oh, the Bible. Which one should I use, the Bible or the knife? Bro, this game is intense. I'm trying to tell you, this game is actually like goaded, dude. Bro, I like when you find a treasure. Feels like I, I hit the, a good number on the slot, you know? Feels like I hit a good slot machine, bro. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm telling you, this is like one of my favorite parts of the game is finding chests. Oh, shit! I haven't seen this. I haven't seen a chest spit out three things. Let's go! Dang, bro! Dang, that's so much money! Let's go! Shit, this game is so addicting, man. 
Bro, this this is insane! This is insane! I can't! I can't hold on for much longer, bro! They threw werewolves into the equation and now it's wrapped! What the fuck? Come on, bro! God damn it! No, the game is like a shot of crack in the veins. I love playing it. <laughs> but that's the thing. Phil wouldn't know a good game if it bit him in the ass. Phil just sees, oh, AAA shiny game. It must be popular. It's going to have a lot of hype. It's going to bring lots of people to the channel. And then he's going to sit here and bash PC gaming, dude. Phil needs to get with it. Vampire Survivors It's probably going to be the game that could cure that gambling addiction. I'm trying to tell you. I find a chest, I get all hot and bothered under the collar. <laughs> oh, let's keep going. Sorry about that. Bro, I am so convinced that these aren't pimples. These are like liver spots, bro. Like old man liver spots. Like he, he's starting to get a forehead like Mermaid Man from Spongebob. <laughs> Carl tipped a dollar. And still Carl asked the following. Where do you see yourself privately and professionally in five years' time? Privately and professionally. Privately. What it? <laughs> uh, privately and professionally. Like, privately is a weird, a weird way to even say it. Like, what I'm assuming you're asking okay is where do i see myself in my private life like what's going on in my private life wow bro why does phil's when phil does that he knows what the question means right but this is his little way of trying to stall for time to try to think of a lie to tell you because you know it's a good question snow curl asked yo god bless no curl i love these i love when he asks a question that gets under phil's skin yeah, Phil, because remember, he lied to his mom about his 10-year plan that he was going to get his act together and get a job and eventually, so I don't know, stop streaming one day. I remember that. I know you guys do, too. Let's hear it. Let's hear a five-year plan from Phil, dude. You know, I would hope. And, I, you know, you say five years. I say this is kind of just my end game plan. Goals for my life is, number one, I obviously want to get out of any kind of financial heat that I'm in. Um, I'm definitely in a better situation than I was many years ago. At the same time, I'm definitely not good. Um, there's many weeks when I'm living literally paycheck to paycheck, stream to stream, you know, and it's tight and it's all the time. I'm, I'm going to try to stop mentioning that to you guys and stop with the e-begging so much. I think I've, I've made good strides with that in the last week and a half, two weeks. Um, at the same time, yeah, it's it's still bad. Like, you know, no exaggeration, full transparency. This is one of those weeks where things are incredibly tight and I'm try hoping I have enough money for my day off this week. But I'm not going to bring on it and mention it. I don't want that to be carrying over to my streams anymore. But the goal is to not be in that situation anymore. You see? What I need to do is stay the course and build up my credit to the point where I can do stuff with it again. Meaning take out loans or refinance my home. And then I could get out of the, the back debt that I'm in and when I'm out of the back debt, hopefully then I'll be able to afford the current debt and then I won't have these problems anymore. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I didn't just hear him say what he just said, bro. Oh my God, dude. This guy needs to be put in a mental institution and have a caretaker that watches over his money. <laughs> what? Phil's ultimate goal is to what? be able to get into more debt again he's literally telling you that as soon as he is out of debt he makes over a hundred thousand dollars a year talking about living paycheck to paycheck out of my face with that but you see what he i mean he wants to once his debt and his credit is fixed he literally just wants to start using his credit to mess around and he's going to end up right back where he is i don't understand this this guy literally needs to get kicked off of YouTube and forced to get a job so he can actually have a, a value for money, you know? Because for Phil, money is just toilet paper, bro. Point, And that's not something that's immediate. When you declare bankruptcy, okay, it could take anywhere 
from four to seven years before anyone will even touch you in regards to serious like credit again. You know, not to say that some garbage company wouldn't want to give me a shit ass credit card and ruin my credit again, but in order to actually do something serious, like refinance my home, which I have tons of equity in, but I can't do because my credit's terrible, I have to wait. Okay. I feel like if I can get to that point, if I can tough it out and get to that point and get through something like that and refinance, and then all the back that's gone, everything's current. I'd be in a much better position. I wouldn't even have to worry about week to week stuff anymore because I might actually have some extra money for savings and things. You know, my God, my TV breaks. I can just order one. I don't have to worry about, oh my God, what am I going to do? Because my car broke down, my TV broke, my dishwasher, which is broken and we can't afford to fix. All that stuff is all going on at once. I'd have the flexibility to just do stuff again in my life, which I haven't had now for two and a half, three years and it's still going. Okay. Wow, this is ridiculous, bro. Utterly ridiculous. <laughs> like, have you if, have any of you guys seen a business that actually went bankrupt and is still operating like pills? He's already plotting to go into debt again. Amazing. Oh my god. I need to get some sleep. This is too much retardation for my brain. <laughs> Oh God, I am dreading to see what Phil does tomorrow. Oh God, help us all. The next, oh, the next melding. Come closer. I need, I need. What do you need? I need th that money, I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. And for the money, stupid fuck. And get into that festive spirit, all right, sooner rather than later. Now, today is my final consecutive streaming day of the week, and today is, uh, well, this week was a short streaming week, all right? This week was only a five-day streaming week. Usually, I stream six straight days. This week, it was only five. Reason being is that uh, my one day off a week is the only day that I have to do anything that I have to schedule, and it just so happens that I can only schedule something for tomorrow rather than Thursday, which is my usual day off. Um, and then, incidentally, I was like, well, let me schedule something else. I, I have a bunch of stuff I scheduled all for tomorrow for my day off, okay? Schedules? Appointments? What? What does Phil really have going on in his life? That, uh, yeah, um, I have things scheduled. Like, what, Phil? I bet this guy goes out for pedicures, dude. He goes for petty manis, <laughs> you know? He probably goes to an expensive spa, bro, with all your tip money. <laughs> no, but for real, dude, this guy has no life. The only appointment I could think of is a doctor's appointment to finally get his head checked for tumors. Complete chance. This ends up working out well, and here's why. Next week, okay, is Thanksgiving on Thursday. And, you know, that's a national holiday here in the United States. No shit. I never do a full day of streaming on Thanksgiving. I usually split it up so that I'll be here for half a day and then the other half I spend with my family having a nice Thanksgiving dinner. <clears throat> um, this year will be no exception. So being that Thanksgiving is on a Thursday of next week, <clears throat> it's actually better to have my day off on Wednesday of this week because then I could do a full six days of streaming, you see, and then have my Thanksgiving day well, have my normal day off on Wednesday, which I need. I need it for shopping and doing various things. Thanksgiving dinner? What? Huh? Two people at a lonely dinner table is not Thanksgiving. Okay, Phil? And you know neither of them could cook. Neither of them could cook for nothing. So they're gonna go out and use your money to have a fancy Thanksgiving dinner. I hope every place that they want to go to or get takeout from is closed. <laughs> Oh my God, imagine that. Phil and Kat at a dirty, dusty dinner table, bro, while Jasper's eating from the dish on the floor. <laughs> you know, you look at him, you're like, this is ridiculous. These people are just out of control with the way that they behave this time of year. Um, And, and there, you, you know, there's like absolutely uh, no parking on Black Friday. People just grab those, those spots and... It's like a nightmare. So rather than have her go through insane amounts of stress and have to leave like an hour early to get to her job, 
I told her I would drive her to work and I would pick her up during the day when her shift is over, okay? I have an update in regards to this. So on Black Friday, all right, she actually works uh, a morning shift into the afternoon. The good news is she has to be at work before my stream even starts. So in that morning, I'll just get up early. I'll bring her to work. I'll come home and I will, as long as nothing goes wrong, you know what I mean? I'll be starting my Black Friday Ad Apocalypse Marathon stream at the usual time, 10.45 a.m. Pacific time. If everything goes according to plan. I mean, if there's delays, if there's tons of traffic and issues, and there's, I'll obviously let everyone know what's going on. Okay. Bro, there's a few things I don't understand here, <laughs> dog. Like, Black Friday isn't some animal infested zoo like it was. I think COVID kind of checked that, dude, <laughs> you know? Even I online shop way more than I ever have in my whole life since COVID, dude. Like, all, and then people have sales that are like a week long. Like, everybody knows they don't have to trip about trying to get all the sales on Black Friday. Like, what the heck? Number two, why can't, why can't that chick go an hour early? Why can't she just go an hour early, dude? Like, literally, why can't she just, people do it all the time. There's times I, dude, tomorrow, I have to leave early so I could drive my son to school and then drive my ass to work. Like, you know, it's called being an adult. But I forgot, it's like two children playing house in the condo. Number, number three. Why does Phil have to make everything sound like some in insurmountable challenge? All right, guys, we'll see if I'll be able to make it. Uh, there'll be traffic. Uh, Tevin and the trolls might keep me held up, guys. <laughs> Yo, look how much he's shaking right now, dude. He's shaking so much. He's actually stressing about having... To get his wife, bro, that works a lowly retail job and having to get some fast food. He has to make sure the whales stay tuned, guys. He's stressed about making sure the, the whales stay tuned while he goes and pulls his stuff off on Black Friday. He's such a scummy human being. And you know what else I think about that kind of blows me away? Phil makes over $100,000 a year, bro. And he forces Cat to work in retail time. <laughs> oh my God, man. Like, that that's really weird to me. You know what I mean? Like, he's forcing her to scrape $2,000 a month while he rates in seven to 9000 Like, what does she use her money for? Does he force her to pay bills? You know what I mean? Like, these are things I actually ponder sometimes. Like, what what does Kat do with her money, Phil? She doesn't make a lot of money, <laughs> you know? She works part-time retail, dude. Oh, no. Phil, I hope Phil better not be making Kat pay a single bill. I swear to God, I would leave him if I was Kat. She needs to escape the pig pen. Last thing, member's goal for the month. We are running out of time. Today's the 15th. We have... One week left. One week left for people to either become a member, renew their memberships, or gift a membership to their fellow viewer to hit the goal for the month, which we already had exceeded. When this month began, we were at 1,036. I set up that goal expecting that we could just easily re-hit that. Okay? So here's the deal. I swear, Phil's like a parrot, bro. Just repeating the same begging points. We do hit 1,026 members. We are locking in to the Christmas event. The Christmas Marathon is something I do annually every year. I absolutely love doing it. It's the only stream in a year that I drink. Get a little tipsy here on DSP Gaming. I dress up in holiday attire, all right? We do a variety of games and usually there's other festive fun as well, like usually a holiday DSP tries it or something else going on, <clears throat> okay? Bro, the way he even says, and it's the one time a year that I drink. Bro, you know that's a lie. <laughs> like, like, the way he says it is just screaming, I'm lying. The guy needs to go to AA meeting. He drinks a lot. He drinks all night, you know? Like, he doesn't go to bed. The guy stays up all day, all night. Gets drunk all night and it goes to bed around 3 a.m. It's it's crazy. The final week of October, 
when we had a ginormous membership bomb gifted to this channel and we went from 500 members to over a thousand. Okay. So if we don't hit this goal within the next week, it becomes unattainable because we're going to see a dramatic expiration of gifted memberships. And we're going to go boo all the way down to like, again, like around 500 and sadly, there's no way we're going to go from 500 to over a thousand. This is not going to happen. If you can, please support the stream in any way, of course, but either becoming a member or gifting some memberships right now would be an absolute great way to do it. And we have a week to do it. We could definitely do it in the next week. It's possible. It's doable. All right. But it's more about awareness, making people aware this is happening now. You know, we have to, we have to hit it. If we don't, we're kind of in trouble. Okay. Ah, he's so full of it, bro. If Phil drops the 500 memberships, he's just going to reset the membership goal to like 600 or 700. Something stupid. This is fake. What he's doing is what businesses do. You know, like when you go... Imagine if you play Apex Legends, you go into the store, you know, and it says uh, an item's $10. It's worth like a thousand Apex coins, but then it, slash, it has a slash through it, you know, and it says... 500 coins for a limited time only and you're just sitting there like that's fake you know he's like he's fake fluffing the membership goals and how they work bro trying to trick the whales and ditheads into re-upping and stuff look nobody wants a membership to this phil nobody okay oh i think that that was about it for <laughs> for tuesday dude oh man we're, we're done with tuesday and I think Phil, he has tomorrow off. So I guess I'm gonna just get drunk and wallow. Wallow in the fact that I can't play with the other detractors. <laughs> Yo, and I actually can confirm that uh, Phil's goons are the ones trying to lob strikes or whatever at me, dude. So uh, I got an age restriction on one of my actual DSP videos. And I appealed it in one. So you can go suck a dick, Phil. Tell your goons that. <laughs> oh, it's going to be good to get a rest from editing this super long video, man. All right. I'll see you guys Thursday, I guess. This is ridiculous. Day four. Uh, I, I think it was you were just a divorce. DSP, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I saw I saw that. That's just, I'm not doing that. So well, what? Uh, do what? Apparently he's like he he doesn't like he doesn't get mad at you. He's blocked my ass because I've watched too many of those hate videos. But yeah. apparently you get the fucking pass because you know it's like Moist Critical. He just looks up DSP Gaming and he just sees all the bad videos. I don't even blame him. <laughs> what? Yeah, no. So I was just talking about so to tie everything back. I was talking about Boogie and like the e begging stuff. And then uh, I, I likened it to DSP, whose whole brand has become like, you know, making sure his viewers are giving him money or else yeah, like he saying makes... he has no time to do anything and he's so yeah, busy. Very similar. Yeah. yeah. So I, I compared the two. DSP saw it and he made like a response to it and then was requesting an interview. I don't fucking interview people. I was just talking on stream about the shit. Like, it's not that deep. <laughs> I had to play that for context, you know, for Thursday. Because you guys already seen how Phil's been just kissing Charlie's butt cheeks with the tips of his lips. <laughs> it, hey, Moist Critical's literally the reason why Phil's been trying to clean up his act and stop e -begging. So, to see just Charlie ignore Phil like a really hot, tender woman ignoring an average man, it was just, oh... Man, I had to pop a bag of popcorn. I actually got a bag of popcorn right here. Got my wheat. I read up from the dispensary, dude. Uh, dude, Phil responded to pretty much uh, voice critical, you know, pretty much snubbing him. <laughs> oh, I love it. Charlie's a detractor now, pretty much, dude. And then you already know Phil's going to talk about his day off. And the gout, guys. Like, I don't even think gout's a debilitate. He, he acts like gout is like, you know, a lifelong thing, which I don't think it is. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. So, yeah, let's just roll into Thursday. We need to get this over with. Your boy almost out the cage, baby. Day off yesterday from my streams. Yesterday was 
uh, Wednesday. All right. And usually I don't have Wednesday off. Usually it's Thursday. But we mixed it up this week because I had multiple. Yo! Yo, bro! What's up with the guy's hair? Why does his barber hate him? <laughs> like everybody in Phil's life hates him. The Look at the guy's hair, bro! I can't get. No way, man! <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! It's like the barber just threw the fucking shears at Phil and told him to get the hell out. Bro! Bro! I'm literally crying right now! Who does who does that to somebody's side brow, man? Phil's barber's a detractor, confirmed. Like who does that to somebody's head? Who <laughs> you criminal? Oh, oh, bro, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. It's like every time the guy gets a haircut, it's like, dude, what? Did you get that done at a car wash, Phil? You know, was it a car wash last barbershop? An up and coming strap, you know, an up and coming person, you know, in the barber game cut him up bro i would sue that i would sue that son of a bitch if they did that to my bro it makes me afraid to go to the barber now i'm like what if my barber hates me dude the guy pulls my hairline to the middle of my head and i don't even realize it oh b-boy cyclone re his membership for a whopping 19 months thank you for the ongoing support a bit late did you react to penguin zoe's response yet Penguin Zoe, you mean Moist Critical. I have not fully seen any response. What I heard last night was that I guess he was doing a show, or I guess he does live streams. I don't know. I don't watch all of his content. I just, every once in a while, I see a random video of his in my feed. I watch them. I think that they're entertaining. So I guess he was on one of his shows or streams, and I guess there was a guest talking to him. I don't know who it was. I've only seen, like, no exaggeration. It was like a YouTube short. So 60 seconds. Basically, uh, the person who was on the show asked him, did you hear what Dark Side Phil said in response to what you said about him? And he was basically like, well, it's not that deep. You know, I was talking about Boogie. Someone asked me about him. I made a reference to him explaining how basically he's an e-beggar on his content. And that's it. You know, interview him. I'm not an interviewer. I'm not interested in anything like that. And that's where the short ended. So I have absolutely no idea at all if anything else was said, nor do I really care. I basically, that was the answer that I was explaining. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I figured was going to be. I figured the answer was going to be, he doesn't care. He watches, let's be honest here. Any YouTuber who's of the size of a PewDiePie, a Moist Critical, you know, those guys, their content is reacting to a bunch of random shit on the internet. Ah, uh, whatever, Phil. Oh my god. He sounds like a, a mad man that got stood up at a date. You know, Moist Critical brushed him aside, dude, like he was a fruit fly. <laughs> and you know, Phil has a big ego and a big sense of himself. He's like, yeah, see, guys, see, that's what I mean. Even though, remember, you just kissing his ass a week earlier, dude. He's the reason why he kicked off the no begging art. That's what we're calling this week. It's the no begging art. <laughs> and on YouTube, it's funny because their name is Moist Critical. And I've seen videos from Moist Critical before. And I think the guy is very charismatic. He's funny. He's informative. Um, his content's good. His delivery is good, um, and when he actually uh, covers topics, it's always a variety of interesting stuff. He covers news. Yes, he does cover drama with YouTubers and the like, but he covers many, many topics. Um, Still acting like a hoe right now, dude. <laughs> like, you see how he's trying to act right now, bro? Uh, see what I mean? This is what I was talking about. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, guys? That's the kind of content they put out, right? Right. 
And do they have time to come here and watch my content? No, they don't. What do they do? Oh, I wonder what the latest drama is today. Let me search for the drama videos about this person. So they're searching for my detractor videos about me and they see what did the detractor say today? And they believe that's what's going on. They watch it quick and then that's what they talk about on their stream. That's what I said. That's the problem with YouTube is it allows open, blatant, mass, either slander, defamation, or whatever form you want to say with zero fact checking, with zero corroboration of anything being truthful. And there's literally no retaliation that anyone can do to protect themselves from it. Bro, the DSP detractor community has probably some of the most smart, some of the most artistic, and just insightful people that I am blessed to have ever, you know, run into. All of them, bro. And giving, and generous, and kind, dude. Like, just real stand-up people. You know what I'm saying? Like, from the outside looking in, we're all called degenerates and stuff. I tell everyone, we're like the underground of YouTube. But under, the underground's dope, bro. We should be suing Phil for defamation, dog. Anything about anyone they want and get away with it on YouTube. And so you have massive misinformation campaigns about me, right? And, uh, you know, people get the wrong impression. And then they talk about it on their content. And now all of a sudden, DSP is one of the worst content creators ever made. It's like, did you actually watch a single one of my streams? Obviously not, because if you did, you would understand what you're saying literally is not happening on my streams or not to the extent that you're overemphasizing it, right? This guy, you know, uh, moist bro, I, I'm very convinced that Phil needs to be put in a group home and have all his finances looked over by the dude that, you know, runs the group home. <laughs> And he needs to be going to therapy like six times a week because this is this is literally a therapy session right now. This is insane. The things coming out the man's mouth are crazy words, bro. He has seen misinformation videos about me and then talks about them like everyone else. You know, the only reason I brought it up is because if you remember, just a few days before he had publicly brought me up in one of his streams, I had said I wanted to do a public interview to basically give my side of the story on all of this misinformation that's all about me all over the internet. I felt that for too long it had been one-sided. Everyone just saying the same dogpile shit about me with no value. You know, have I responded to that stuff in my own content? I have. How many? On stream, a few hundred a day. On demand, a few thousand a day. So that versus, you know, giant YouTubers always saying the same negative memes about me because they just believe everything they hear. If I had the opportunity to actually talk to someone and say, hey, here's my side of the story about everything that's going on, obviously, at least it would be out there, right? You might not have to believe it. You know, a lot of people probably wouldn't, but at least my side of the story would be in the public eye. And that's all I was asking for. And then literally, like three days after I had announced that I wanted to do an interview, Moist Critical goes in his content and says negative stuff about me. I was like, that's exactly the point I'm making. There, so he pretty much confirms what I've been saying all along, dude. He's been wanting to just have a bigger platform to just spew his, you know, stupid lies and BS all over the world, bro. He just wanted to make Pignosis mainstream. <laughs> he wanted to pick pig. He wanted to put Pignosis in the public eye. Dude, this guy is wild, man. All he cares about, blah, blah, blah. That's the meme. It's the fucking meme. Come to my stream and tell me, you know, especially the last week and a half, I made a con concerted effort to cut it out, all right? I got a wake up call from my viewers, from other people, YouTubers like Moist Critical saying, he's an e-bagger and I'm like, you know what? All right, I'm gonna cut it out, you know? I'm still gonna mention, hey, we got a special reward tier today and you wanna hit this, you see a hat or whatever. That's different, but I'm not gonna sit here and just constantly be talking about stuff like that, uh, you know, any longer. I changed and I'm gonna try to stick to my guns about that, all right? Um, what are you gonna do? That's life. You know, people give me a wake-up call. Okay, I changed now for the better. I'm glad people gave me a wake-up call, right? So there you go. But outside of that, you know, how are you going to tell me now all these these terrible criticisms about me? Or the, I should not even say criticism, but these terrible things that are said about me that aren't even true anymore, right? Bro, shut up, Phil. Phil literally sounds like a drug addict that's being forced to go to rehab. 
I changed, I changed, guys. I'm not on drugs anymore. I'm not gambling on WWE champions anymore, guys. I changed. It's been a week and, and a day. <laughs> Snort. <laughs> I changed, like, the guy can't stop shaking in his chair, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Oh my god. I feel like I'm in solitary confinement right now. God damn it. <laughs> What's tomorrow? Friday? Friday, bro. Oh, oh, I'm about to hit parole, baby. Let's go. Oh, but we got to see what Phil's up to tomorrow morning, dude. By doing lots of exercise, if I wanted, if I got into weightlifting or something else again, you know, I'm doing my runs. I'm running two to three times a week. Um, so at least I have my wind back. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. Uh, I'm about to go insane. He did not just say that, bro. <laughs> I exercise two to three times a week. Phil, no, you don't. You don't exercise. The only thing he exercises is his right to bitch and complain. That's it. Huh? He really is trying to... Why does he lie about the dumbest shit, dude? You don't exercise, Philip. Huh? <laughs> exhausted anymore doing stuff, which is great because at one point I was getting exhausted doing basic stuff. I don't anymore. But outside of that, there's a lot more that can be done, you know? But I'm doing as well as I can with what I can do with my time. My, my problem is not the desire to do better. It's time. Like, I actually like working out. A lot of people say, I hate working out. It's too, it's, it's tiring. It makes me sore. I enjoy the feel of working out and getting that burn because I used to do it. I used to lift weights and do all that stuff. I like it. My problem is time. I just don't have time to do it. I'm here working six days a week full time. And the one day off a week I have, I'm rushing around trying to do errands with my family. I, you know, if I had a whole day off a week, I'd be doing, you know, can I, can I work in excessive workouts and stuff? I would love it. Well, uh huh? The, bro, this is it. The guy can't even lie without keeping the line together and cohesive for a whole sentence, bro. He just said he exercises two, three times a week, you know? And now he's sitting here like, I don't have time. I just don't have time. Dude, that doesn't make sense, all right? Everybody, every human being on this earth has the time to improve themselves in some way, one way or another read a book, do reflection, I don't know, meditate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Phil's like, I just don't have time, guys. I'm here six days a week, snort. Nah, Phil, you're so full of it, bro. You don't want to do better, okay? All right, get out of here. Oh, my God. This was a good day of Dark Side, Phil. Oh, Thursday was a good day. We got a good little chunk of salt. And Phil, oh, he had me rolling today. Phil talking about he exercises. And bro, that haircut, my guy. Oh my God, I would be suing. Phil wants to talk about suing detractors for defamation. Phil, you need to stack that money up and sue the person that gives you those haircuts, pimp. Or, <laughs> oh, let's see what Friday has in store for us. The next, oh, the next melting. Yo, yo boy. He almost, I'm about to escape Bam World, baby. This is it. The final countdown. This is the last part. This is the last day of Phil for this video I'm going to record for you guys. And it's kind of, it's, I'm trying to tell you this journey in solitary, like confinement by myself, you know, without being able to post, but still really like pondering my thoughts and doing whatever research I need to do. You know, it really just, it was a really surreal experience, dude. Really robust thoughts were happening in my head. And it's like, nah, no one could tell me that the business is burning. Like this is where we wrap, this is just where the video kind of wraps up with my point. The business is burning, guys. Okay? And it's like watching a guy in a burning building. And he's sitting here trying to 
put the burning building out with little splashes of water from a glass, you know? And you're looking at him like, why doesn't he get out the building? You know? This guy's sitting here in a burning down condo, dude. A failed business. A bankrupt, sad, pathetic man, dude. You know? He's chronically depressed because of all the gin he drinks. And he drinks the gin to kind of keep himself from probably leaping off the, the Seattle Sky Needle, bro. Who knows? But he suffers from a debilitating gambling addiction. I think a coke addiction, too. But that's just me. <laughs> And it's just a surreal experience, honestly, to just kind of see Phil just realize it, you know? Uh. <laughs> so yeah, man, let's let's watch Phil bring everything full circle. And um, I'm actually gonna make a second channel. So, you know, just in case we might just have to stream over there or I might do game streams, I don't know. But I need to start making backups. But I always have my Facebook gaming stream link. And I'll put links in the description of this video. And big ups to Lightside Paul. I'll have a link to his channel. He has really amazing memes. And I used a couple of them. He's a really great artist, bro. <laughs> like, his channel is so funny, man. And he only has like a few hundred subs. It's crazy. Yeah, what else? What else before we wrap this up? I know I'm being long-winded, guys. I'm sorry. I I honestly... So, um. Oh, yeah, man. Big ups to everybody that was just checking in on me. Making sure I was okay if I needed food or water. <laughs> Is Mama Susan treating you good in that prison cell? Chill. Oh, no, it's all good. It's all been good. And I really love you all, dude. Big ups, Snort Hogan, dog, you know. We, we brush we, we bumped elbows for a second he, he, he bumped my fist from the other side of my cell he's free so yeah um let's wrap this up dude sorry guys exactly along the lines of what we saw on dsp gaming in the last month despite the fact that i'm playing the hot new releases we plateaued and if anything what this shows it's sad but it's just true that dsp gaming does not show up in the algorithm on YouTube anymore. When I'm playing a new release, I no longer am going to be showing up anyone in anyone's search um, <clears throat> or anything like that. I got no, literally no new viewership really over the last month when it came to these hot new releases. What I did get new viewership up the beginning of October, I placed the Street Fighter 6 beta and all of a sudden, I got a big spike in viewership and in subscribers, okay? But after that ended, Basically, everything this month has been for my dedicated fan base and viewer base, which is fine. I'm, I'm totally happy to do that for you guys because you guys support me. You guys are awesome. He doesn't look happy. Does this look like a man that's happy to you? <laughs> oh, boy. come on, bro. Phil, Phil, you're not happy about this. Come on, man. Who is he trying to front to, dude? Oh, yeah, his whales. That's what's going on, and that's why you haven't seen any growth whatsoever in members. It seems like the level we're at is kind of the level we're going to be at unless I slowly grow the channel over time, which I'm planning on doing. As you know, right now we're in the midst of all these new releases. We talked over the last year about different things that I could do, right? We added many different things to my uh, style of content. React content was something huge that, that we're doing a week from today, by the way, the Ad Friday, Black Friday Adpocalypse Spectacular React event something that I normally wouldn't have done in the past, but new things I'm adding all the time. And we talked a lot this year about the fact that moving forward as I get older, it's going to be a lot less about focusing on playing every major new release and doing constant gameplay. And instead I have to diversify my content to be more of this kind of content. Me I swear to God, bro, Phil's going through like the five <laughs> like sta stages of grief you know, of his reputation and of his channel. Right now, we're witnessing the last stage. It all seeped in. 
Oh, God, bro, this is so amazing. And I love how he's trying to say, we came up with a lot of different ways to try to diversify my content. And still, like, bro, you come on, dude. No matter what he does, he's going to be stuck on level one until the day he dies. Like, it's kind of crazy, bro. You know, anytime he gets a spike in viewership, it's because he, if he's reacting to something, it's because he's reacting to something that people want to probably see him slip on something about. Like when he did the reaction about wings, you know? Or when he's playing Street Fighter 6, just because he's trash at Street Fighter. And it was going to be amazing to see if he put up as much of a bitch fit in Street Fighter 6 as he did in Street Fighter 5. <laughs> like, come on, dude. And I think Phil actually knows that. But he's, it's like he's trying to put on a show for his whales, you know? Like how a, he looks like a desperate CEO trying to put on a show for his shareholders. To make sure they know the business is still is still here, is still afloat. We're still going along, Snort. Yeah. Having reactive and this this is what's popular on YouTube now. Not sit here play game. It's just sorry, that's just that's just facts. Okay, and no, what, Phil? You are wrong, bro. Games is what? Gaming is still popular. Sit here, play games. It's still popular, Phil. It's the fact that people don't want to watch a, a odd 40 year old man that can't play games play games while begging for money. Because no other game streamer does what you do, Phil. Okay? I'm gonna play this game. I'm gonna play this game. Any other streamer like me, bro, just gonna play what I want until I'm done with it. And then we'll move on to the next thing. I'll chill with whoever wants to chill with me. It's all good. Who cares? But not Phil. He overthinks all this stuff. He takes himself too seriously. It's some of the biggest things I've done in 2022 were react events. It's just true. Uh, as opposed to me just doing the raw gameplay. If you look at the raw gameplay playthroughs, they just kind of stagnated, which is kind of to be expected, okay? So all that being said, no, I'm not retiring from being any kind of a, you know, a gamer. Don't worry about that because I'm happening. But what I'm saying is diversification is key. Now, how that ties into what I'm talking about is the reason I'm bringing this up this morning is that giant gifted membership bomb that we got was about exactly one month ago if i if i'm looking at my youtube analytics i think it says it was october 21st that means we have today the 18th tomorrow the 19th and sunday the 20th to try to make an honest push to hit this goal this is begging he's begging bro giving you guys an ultimatum <laughs> like you guys need to make that good push so we can hit that membership goal guys snort like, come on, Phil. Really? You're putting a countdown clock for your dent heads to make sure that you get more money than you actually deserve for your trash content? Sunday? On Monday, this total is going to go boop. And now, the Christmas event is essentially unreachable. Okay? Obviously, I don't want the Christmas event to be unreachable. The Christmas event is something that I do every year. It's an annual special event that we absolutely love doing. It's if attire that I change out over the day. I have several different kinds of liquor and drinks. Okay. Pretty exciting. I love doing it. You guys nominate games. We do special holiday, either Feasting with the King or DSP tries it or both. It's always an annual special event that people look forward to. I love doing it as well. It's always tied to some kind of a support goal and we always hit it. You guys love it guys, right? You like watching me wear wacky Christmas sweaters and getting drunk and being toxic, right? If something triggers me, right? You love it, guys. We, if you want it, make sure you give me all the money, okay, Snore? Like, come on, dude. Oh, my God, bro. I was driving my son home from school the other day. You know, the dude was passed out in the back seat, And I saw this homeless person. And... You know, you I kind of low-key did that thing where <laughs> you try to act like they ain't there. I, I put my head on the steering wheel and looked ahead. And they walked past me and then low-key, it, it like hit my brain. 
I was like, oh shit, I have a dollar in my dashboard. So like I yelled, I was like, hey, hey, yo, I got a dollar. Threw it at her, dude. Literally the arrow turned green, so I was like, I tossed it at her. I don't know why, but I thought of Phil when I did that. And that's like what people do for you, Phil. You're like that hump homeless person that you try to ignore, but you can't ignore. You know, it's like, oh shit, I remember I have a dollar under my seat. I guess I'll give him some money, dude, if it'll shut him up. <laughs> it's just, a, honestly, it's just disgusting how he holds all these things hostage, you know, behind a, a paywall where any other streamer kind of just do them for fun, you know, no paywall involved. It's like, hey, I'm wearing a Santa hat because it's Christmas, guys, like, whatever. Where Phil's like, hey, you want me to wear this, the, the Christmas hat? It's December. Make sure you give me 50 bucks. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's utterly disgusting. Can consider it. Now, if you're someone who supports this channel and you're in the given mood, this would absolutely positively be the weekend to say, hey, I want to support ESP Gaming and I also want to support the fellow viewers. Maybe consider gifting some memberships around here and see if we can get those numbers up to, to the goal. Okay? Gifting of memberships is easy to do. People have done it. You know, there's people sitting here in droves waiting because a lot of people had memberships and they expired over the last couple of weeks and they'd be excited to accept them. So it's just a possibility. So if you're interested, you want to support the channel, that's a great way to do it over this coming weekend. I would like nothing but to say we hit the goal. We've locked it in. And we're good. To ah, he's so full of it, bro. If Phil drops the 500 memberships, he's just going to reset the membership goal to like 600 or 700. Something stupid. This is fake. What he's doing is what businesses do. You know, like when you go... Imagine if you play Apex Legends, you go into the store, you know, and it says uh, an item's $10. It's worth like 1,000 Apex coins, but then it, slash, it has a slash through it, you know, and it says 500 coins for a limited time only. And you're just sitting there like, that's fake. You know, he's like, he's fake fluffing the membership goals and how they work, bro. Trying to trick the whales and dickheads into re-upping and stuff nobody wants a membership to this phil nobody okay no i hear you like here's the thing all right i sadly do get baited by nonsense let's be honest who's one of the people who, who baited me a lot snow carl right he would give me like a dollar tip with a seemingly innocuous question that would just lead to feeding right into a troll me and i just don't want to put up with that anymore i don't see the point like right now if i answered what this idiot said it would waste everyone's time. No one cares. That's the thing. All of you who are here, how many of you really want to hear me now rant about some dumbass, unrelated troll bullshit right now, right? I'm done. I'm done. That's it. Uh, I'm about to go insane. He did not just say that, bro. <laughs> I exercise two to three times a week. Phil, no, you don't. You don't exercise. The only thing he exercises is his right to bitch and complain. That's it. But, huh? He really is trying to... Why does he lie about the dumbest shit, dude? You don't exercise, Philip. Huh? <laughs> you guys have heard my responses. It's people outside of DSP Gaming who've never heard my responses. Because th basically everything I do on the stream that's positive doesn't get echoed. Anything that's negative gets the echo chamber to the internet, right? So... Nah, that... N nothing positive happens on Phil's streams, bro. If Phil, the only thing, bro, that I can honestly think about that's positive, if anything positive happens on Phil's stream, it's him actually completing a game and not rage quitting it like Gotham Knights, dude. Dude, I keep losing all my health to nothing. What the fuck? Look at my health. Come on, man. Oh, fuck. This is impossible. It's literally impossible. I'll never win it. This is the end of the game for me. This is literally the end of the game. I don't know how I'm supposed to beat that. I really don't. I'm not even getting hit anymore. There's things off screen and shit. They're hitting me like, what the fuck? Yo, big ups, Aqua Teal, for uh, capping that one. 
but you see what I mean? The guy rage quit. Kirby. They like Kirby. This game. Like, come on, man. There's nothing here. Ugh. All right. That's it, guys. I'm done. I don't even think my computer could probably, like, let me go any further than this. This is legitly the longest video I ever made. Tomorrow, I should hopefully be out of the gulag, dude. And, um, if they let me out, Saturday, it'll probably be Saturday night, I'll try to do a stream with you guys. We could talk about what happened to, to my ass. <laughs> I'm trying to laugh about it to keep from being mad. Honestly, I try to have a good attitude about it. Like, whatever, man. I just need to be more careful about what I say. Honestly, if I ever said anything that offended any of you guys that constitutes as hate speech, I I shouldn't even do the air quotations. <laughs> like, it makes me look like I don't mean it. I really do apologize, guys. You know? I know sometimes I cuss too much. Sometimes the M word might slip out, slip it out of my mouth. <laughs> but you know, like, I'm a hood dude, so it's just, I don't know. Sorry. It's whatever. But beyond that, guys, everything looks like it's ending for Phil at some point. It, it, it's coming soon. I think it's coming soon, but it's still going to be a, a slow burn, guys. I don't know what it's going to take. <laughs> I think an act of God is what's going to just do it. Or Phil finally snapping mentally. <laughs> uh, man, whoever made it this far in this video too, I appreciate you guys. Again, I appreciate all my detractor pals that rolled through the DMs to check on your boy. All the, the viewers, all everybody. I love you all. I'll see you all later, man. This next clip, I really love it. It had me just like, it. this clip I'm about to sh just leave you guys with, it really exemplifies what just Phil in the channel right now, you know? And um, it's from Lightside Paul. Please go sub to him. I have a link in the description. I'll also have a, you know, link to my backup channel. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. For some, accomplishments in life are family, friends, or a sense of security. For Phil, however, money, pride, and mobile phone rankings tower above all else. As the dollars flow in for vest streaks, spinning and bubble blowing, his body deteriorates and his hair recedes. People love me and my content he reassured himself. What once was a semi-functional human being he is now beyond repair. An atrophic husk remains, faking some human emotion for his dwindling audience. His nights consist of trying to get some dopamine rush from social media and mobile games. He glances at his sleeping horse, his emotions for her turning from apathy into disdain and hatred. Only on his deathbed will someone a person like this realize their mistakes. He rejected all help, scoffed at genuine concern, and blocked out criticism with sarcasm and alcohol. No ex-wife or son Jasper to comfort him. No John Rambo at his bedside. No Leanna. No tears for anyone but himself. The decades of wallowing in self-pity, lying, scanning, staring at screens and paranoia seemed to blend together. His final thoughts hit him like a freight train as his eyes glaze over. This is the life I've lived.